Hey guys, it's Tommy with Studio Sense. Welcome back. Today on Studio Sense, we're gonna be talking about five fragrances that I choose to wear for myself. Now we've talked a lot on this channel about and informs about why you should wear a fragrance to begin with. It's all about quality of life. Wear appropriate fragrances, just like you'd wear appropriate clothing and other accoutrements like jewelry, things of that nature. We all make those choices to kind of feel better, to kind of better our lives and quite honestly, because we like them. And sometimes we even collect them, like with fragrances. Now with fragrances, however, sometimes we wear them, we get in a kind of a routine where we wear them for other people. And that's what we mean by mass appealing and crowd pleasing is that everyone seems to love Creed Aventus or Creed Aventus clones. Paco Rabanne Invictus, Aqua de Gio, I mean, all those fragrances that are super popular because they please everyone. But have you ever purchased a fragrance that just pleased you? Yes, you have. I'm sure you have. If you haven't, you need to. And if you haven't, I'm going to give you five suggestions of fragrances that you should wear just for yourself. So stay tuned, coming up next. <music> Hey guys, welcome back. Due to social distancing or distance caring, self-isolation, whether it's forced isolation or voluntary isolation, there's a ton of phrases. I thought of one the other day that was kind of cool. That is six feet apart or six feet under. And there'd be like a coffin under six feet under. Do it while it's still a choice. Otherwise, not going to be a choice. Since we find ourselves in this sort, kind of sort of self-imposed isolation, one of the things that I like to talk about today, the use of five fragrances for yourself, just for yourself. Now I've been wearing these fragrances for the last several weeks. I've been kind of rotating through them and I truly enjoy them. I haven't chosen them because of the season that we're in. I've chosen them because I really like how they smell primarily how they make me feel. First, wear fragrances for yourself. Second, wear them for everyone else around you. You shouldn't buy a fragrance simply because everyone's buying that fragrance and get on that wagon train. It's just not smart, number one. And number two, it feels disingenuine, disingenuous. The very first fragrance I would like to share with you that I wear just for myself is Azaro Wanted by Night. Azaro Wanted by Night is a very dark as you can see the color there of the juice is extremely now actually this is my second bottle this is a brand new bottle I ran through my very first bottle which I think was a this is a 100 mil the first one that I had was like a 30 or 50 mil bottle it was a smaller it was teeny tiny still had the same chamber you know of a Colt 45 or whatever this is I'm not really a gun aficionado still looked exactly the same it's just a much smaller bottle this fragrance is amazing the first thing it kind of reminds me of, and my wife, is Spice Bomb, and Spice Bomb, in particular Spice Bomb Extreme by uh, Victor and Rolf. It is extremely spicy. Now some of the spices in Azaro Wanted by Night, in the top you've got cinnamon, lavender, mandarin, orange, lemon. In the mid you've got red cedar, incense, cumin, and a bunch of fruity notes. It does have a little bit of fruit. You don't really pick the fruit out though. It is a little bit, the fruit just adds to some of the brightness in the beginning, but it immediately goes down into its dark heart, its dark heart accord. And primarily what you get out of this dark heart accord is what's in the base. You've got cedar, you've got tobacco, uh, you've got isoe super, cypress, leather, patchouli, and vanilla all wrapped up into this package right here. It's a very, it's like that one girlfriend in high school that you liked sorta, but she loved you. She cling on to you, you know, whether you were going to the pep rally and you just wanted to hang with the guys and she was always grabbing your arm and your elbow. But it is very similar to that, it, it holds on. As a result, it has that legendary and famed longevity and projection extremely high. This is a tremendous banger. It can be a club banger if you like clubbing. It can be a great date night fragrance for date nights. Azaro Wanted by Night has made my top date night fragrance list. I did that a month or so ago. In fact, I'll leave a link above. If you haven't watched that, I go into a little bit more detail about why in particular that I like this. But the reason that I include it in this list is because it is very, very strong. It is very like just a few sprays are really all that you need to last all day. My wife, she kind of likes it, but kind of doesn't. And it's all because, and this is the same for all of these, what I have come to coin the transfer factor. What is the transfer factor? 
The transfer factor is within a 20 minute window of spraying any fragrance on. You can't really touch anybody that's close to you or give them a hug for fear of it actually transferring the fragrance onto them and it will do so very easily, especially with bangers. Bangers or EDPs, a lot of times bangers are eau de parfums. There are some EDTs that are also super strong, but in this case, this is an EDP. 20 minutes after putting it on, it's pretty much on your skin. The carrier, the alcohol, is dried off and the oils are mixing with the oils of your skin and it's gonna last or have a little bit more staying power on your skin instead of being wiped off or if you touch it, you'll bruise it or remove it or lift it or transfer it. And that's what happens when you hug your girlfriend or wife. She just asks that after I spray it on to let it dry down first or spray it on areas of my body that are either covered by clothes or that aren't gonna come in direct contact with her whenever I give her a big old bear hug. So it's just something to be cognizant about, the transfer factor. You don't wanna take that choice away from them not to smell like you all day, so whenever you spray fragrance on, wait at least 20 minutes before coming into physical contact with them or spray on parts of your body that are covered and won't come into skin to skin contact or even skin to clothes. Now, if you're dating somebody and physical contact is what you know, you're know you wanting and that is the ultimate goal is to have physical contact, of course, we're not talking about that scenario. That is specific to a date night fragrance is to create intimacy or create that physical point of physical contact. So hopefully that's actually gonna happen in which case you'll share that with the person that you're with and when you leave, they'll have that smell to remind them of good times. Hopefully a good time and not a bad one. Don't wanna create that negative neuro association with a good fragrance. I'm sure out there's a woman out there that every time she smells Creed Aventa, she's like, oh man, that one guy. Yeah, he said it was a war injury, but I don't believe him. That's her association of Creed Aventus. Wanted by Night is a cornucopia of fragrance goodness. See, it is gourmand, it is semi-sweet, but not overly sweet. It is fragrant, it's fruity, it's dark, it's again, complicated. This fragrance is absurdly magnetic and it's one of the most alluring fragrances that I own to date, or I think that's marketed to date. I love being able to pick apart the notes because they are that much more complicated. It's like the difference between reading War and Peace as opposed to reading a comic book. Next up on my five fragrances that I wear just for myself is Bulgari Wood Neroli. Now Neroli has a very specific fragrance essence, very similar to maybe like juniper berries, not similar in smell, but when you smell juniper berries, there's no question as to what that is. You can pick that out in fragrance pretty pretty quickly. It has a lot of fragrant candor about it. So Neroli is very, very similar. It's a, if you don't like Neroli in one fragrance, the chances are you're not gonna like it in another fragrance. In other words, it maintains its fragrant profile or its fragrant essence in all fragrances. Having said that, I absolutely love it. It's usually a love or hate relationship or a lover I don't really care for. I love Neroli in any fragrance that it's in, usually. Now, the, the awesome thing about Neroli being a floral fragrance, it is need in need of a little bit of a contrast as well as something to carry it, and woods is the perfect thing. Now, the notes in Bulgari Man Wood Neroli, in the top you have this bright spritz and burst, because that's a perfect word to describe bergamot, is a burst of citrus you've got bergamot and you've got neroli. In the mid, you've got orange blossom, you've got cedar and cypriol oil. And coming down into the base, you've got leather, amber, musk, ambroxan, and, or ambergris, ambroxan, and woody notes in this, obviously, since it's woods. And the woods are primarily cedars. Now, woods are what you pick up on the dry down, but this dry down, even though woods is a carrier, it kind of folds into the cedar there. Neroli is what carries this. It is the absolute essence of this, being that it is a Neroli fragrance. Neroli is what it is, is highlighted and is taking center stage on this. So again, if you don't like Neroli, you're not gonna like this fragrance, but I absolutely love it. And the Neroli lasts and lasts. This is an eau de, eau de parfum. As, as an EDP, it does have incredible staying power. I will get at least 11 to 12 hours out of this in longevity. And the projection is such that, again, the transfer factor is huge for this. In fact, for this one, I have to wait a good 30 minutes after I put it on before I touch my wife, before I put my arm around her, because she'll be like, Whew, that is really strong. And I've even had to shower before because we we're gonna be in a setting where we're 
put together very closely and I didn't want to like choke her out because I did go a little bit heavy handed on this the first few times that I used it. So just pull back on the sprays, dial back on it a little bit and you'll be fine. But the mix in this is so wonderful. That bright bergamot keeps it bright. Neroli can be a kind of dark and sometimes breathtaking, like take your breath away, being cloying or heavy handed. It is never that in this. So there's a fragrance made by Scent Story and if you if you remember if you know anything about Scent Story you know that they created the 24 line, right? Jack Bauer, Fox TV, 24, the show. The fragrance for whatever reason had nothing to do with the show but they just used the logo, bought the rights of the IP to use it for their fragrance. In the 24 line it is called it is 24 Elixir and it's simply called Neroli. The only other Neroli that smells equally as good as this is this. Again, number two on my list of five. Third on my list of five fragrances that I wear specifically for myself is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo Signature. Now you know this because it is in a solid black bottle. It is the only bottle like this in the Uomo line. The rest of them are either see-through or of a different color. In my humble opinion, Signature is by far the best of the Uomo line, followed closely by the pillar fragrance, Uomo itself. But Signature is such a dark, complex gourmand wonderful wonderfully sophisticated and modern fragrance that it really is even though it's primarily for cooler weather you know like fall and winter to me it is a timeless all weather all season versatile fragrance that you can wear anytime but because it is gourmand meaning it's more along the lines of something that's sweet that has more like you know, incense based or saffron or it's a little bit darker, earthier patchoulis and darker fragrance like coffee, leather, musk, things like that. That is more for colder weather because those things tend to be a little bit heavier or cloying, you suck the oxygen out of the room in the heat of summer. So this tends to be a little bit more of that direction, but because I feel it is so versatile and it smells so good, I think it's good for any occasion and what better occasion than just sitting by yourself or chilling at home or involved in whatever your favorite home activity is wearing this just for yourself. Now the notes in this, in the top you've got grapefruit, mandarin orange and pink pepper. In the mid you've got cypress, cinnamon and cardamom. In the base you've got tonka bean, the creamy tonka beans, a wonderful roasted coffee accord. You've also got patchouli and leather as well. Now you're probably starting to see a pattern here and yes it's true i seem to resonate with fragrances that are a little bit darker deeper and a little bit more complex and those tend to usually be more colder weather or winter fragrances it doesn't matter the season or the occasion i think all of these fragrances can cater to whatever your need is when you're home by yourself just like a good coffee needs to sit and roast and consider and start unfolding into its best flavor accords this fragrance is like that to me. Once it's on your skin and it does sit for a while as it dries down for about a good 30, 40 minutes, when it finally hits that dry down is to me when it unfolds all of its capabilities and all of its potential as a fragrance. And it comes off so extremely warm. It's like your favorite warm blanket that you put on. And I mean that philosophically as well. I mean, it, it just it makes you feel good. This is a feel good fragrance too, regardless of what the temperature is outside or inside. When it starts unfolding and revealing to you its wonderfully aromatic secrets, you do get a good, I get probably a good 11 to 12 hours out of this. The longevity on this is incredible. The sillage or projection is wonderful. You get a good two to three feet for at least three hours with this fragrance. So it's another heavy hitter and great banger for winter, fall and winter. And I would say spring as well and summertime if you're held captive at home this is a wonderful fragrance to wear because not only will it make you want to get up and make some good food because it is so gourmand but it also there's something supremely comforting about this fragrance because it is gourmand and because of other factors as well the leather in this is well done and well blended and as everyone knows leather as a material is extremely comforting whether you have that favorite leather jacket the favorite pair of sho leather shoes that you wear that have just molded perfectly so the Doc Martens, which are made out of leather mostly, fit so well and make you feel good and you've gone to all your favorite places in those shoes so you put them on just to make yourself feel better. That's the leather accord 
that's in Uomo Signature. The neat thing about all of these fragrances is self-isolation puts you in a position where you get to dictate how many sprays you put on. You don't have to worry about choking anybody out. Now, if you do live with you know, your wife or your significant other, obviously you want to take them into consideration, but if they are gone for a good portion of the day or working or you're separated by rooms or separated by projects, you don't have to worry about how many sprays you put on. Put on as much as you want to put on that makes you feel good, that you want to smell. Next up is another wonder of longevity and projection. In fact, that's what the name of this video should be, is bangers for your self-isolation or self-detainment <laughs> or detachment. Detainment, detachment, I, I don't know. Those are two different things, obviously. But this fragrance, when I first smelled it, I was like, okay, this is an absolute winter king. Super sophisticated and just brilliant, like a, like a diamond, like a jewel. That's what this fragrance is to me. And it is Gentleman by Givenchy. Gentleman is, and this is the Eau de Parfum version of Gentleman. There's an EDT version as well. This one is the heavier EDP. And I got this because when I first smelled it, when I was over at uh, Ash from Jensen's house, I was checking out some fragrances that he'd gotten, and this one was on the shelf. And immediately, as soon as I took the lid off and smelled it, I was like, oh man, I've got to smell this on a tester strip. So I smelled it on a tester strip, fell in love with it, sprayed it on my skin, loved it even more, especially when 10 hours later, it was still projecting. It is a very olfactory active fragrance, meaning you will always smell this when it's on your skin you will not become anosmic to this fragrance. I'm sure you could become, but chances are you will not. Just how well done it is and how how powerfully blended. Now, the, some of the notes that are in Gentleman. In the top, you've got an, an unusual mix of bergamot, lavender, and black pepper. Perfect in the top of this because it's an introduction into a much deeper or darker, it's almost like the prologue. Bergamot, lavender, and black pepper are like the prologue to chapter one and the rest of the book. In the mid, we'll, see, we'll call the mid chapter one. It's an introduction to the, to the dry down. So in the mid, you've got orris and you've got uh, cloves and cinnamon. So orris, cloves, and cinnamon. Chapter one intrigues you even further, but you haven't even gotten to the best part yet. So when you get into the meat of the book, which will be your base, and your base contains patchouli, black vanilla, balsam, benzoin, and tonka bean. Just like the song says, you already know what it is. With those list of notes, you at least you think you know what this is gonna smell like, and then you really get your nose on it, and it's like so much more amazing than what you thought. I love this fragrance. However, the transfer rate on this fragrance is probably higher than any of them because it is so powerful and it is so strong and they put that EDP to good use. It is a true parfum. You wanna keep this on your skin for at least 30, 45 minutes before you bear hug your wife, significant other, or have any bodily contact or close the clothes wherever you sprayed contact with this because it's got a pretty high transfer rate. And for that reason, it is a wonderful fragrance to use for yourself, on yourself, to enjoy by yourself. Most especially, I like the warmth and the creaminess that the benzoin and the black vanilla and the tonka bean all mix together. The way that that formulates and mixes is just a super creamy sweet. Oh man, it is like, this makes you think of your most favorite trip to the Alps, to that skiing lodge where you got snowed in. In fact, I think this was in a snowed in video, like favorite fragrances to be, to have with you when you're snowed in, in an avalanche. <laughs> this was one of them. And if you haven't seen that, I'll also leave a link to that so you can check that out as well. Go into a little bit more detail as well. Givenchy, gentlemen, wonderful fragrance. <laughs> All right, well, number five on my list, guys, is I not necessarily save the best for last. It's not really going that way, but probably save the most divisive for last because a lot of people do not like Versace, the dreamer. And I definitely understand why a lot of people don't like this. This can be pretty off-putting when you first smell it. When you first spray it on before you allow it to dry down, you can formulate your first impression with this is probably going to be one that's like, I don't know what this is. I, it's going all kinds of ways. It's a little bit of scent confusion. It's a little bit too floral. It goes from unisex into female, you know, zone in, in some ways, and then it dries down and it's completely different. So you really have to give this some time. And when I say that, 
Uh, what I mean by giving this time, I mean not just time to dry down when you spray it on your skin, but give it a few weeks. You know, let this spend some time with the dreamer. You might be surprised at how it opens up. This is not a simple, uh, unoffensive, crowd pleasing banger. This is a deeply complicated, thoughtful, and thought provoking fragrance that a lot of time went into making this and into making it the unique fragrance that this is. This isn't trying to be something else. It's not trying to imitate anything like, like most Versace's. It's doing everything that it wants to do uniquely specific to itself. It's doing its own thing, in other words. So you have to like what the Dreamer is doing. Now some of the notes in the Dreamer include Juniper, Tarragon, Artemisia, that's in the top, in the mid. In the mid you've got Lily, you've got Iris, Flax, and finally in the base you've got Amber and Tobacco Blossoms. So kind of an odd or unusual mix. I won't go into a ton of detail about this. In fact, I do go into a bit of detail with a review that I did of the Dreamer not too long ago, and it was quite unusual featuring the mask behind me here. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that above as well. I know this has got, a, I've got a ton of links in this video, and I usually don't do that. But since I'm referencing the, these in other videos, if you do wanna hear a little bit more detail about them, you can check this out. But the Dreamer to me is a wonderful, I, th I think that's why the name the Dreamer is to me is so, is because it's thought provoking, just like a dream is thought provoking. Most of the time when we dream something, we have no clue or no idea what our psyche is referring to. Dreams have been called our, our minds taking out the garbage of all of the day's activities. Your dreams are typically an aggregate of a little bit of everything that happened throughout your day. It's kind of like a receipt of all of that. And a dream is a way of purging all those activities that we take in subconsciously. Because our brain, our brain is comprised of filters, and a lot of those filters that we have, we don't even really realize that we're filtering all these things out. Like right now, as you're watching this video, there's all kinds of things going on around you. There's the temperature in the air. There may be some sounds that you're hearing from your computer or a TV in the next room or someone talking in the next room. You're also thinking about that you're hungry or what you're gonna wear tomorrow to work or wear at home. You may have a concern you know, on a, a thought on the back burner. There's just a ton of things going on, but you're still able to focus on this video because filters take care of the rest, our subconscious filters. It's mostly called subconscious. So at night, what happens when we go to sleep, our brains take all that filtered information and it's like, what do we do with this? I don't know, we don't really need it. Is there anything pertinent in here? Obviously your, your conscious brain picks out all the pertinent things, but everything else it just, it hits the handle on the toilet bowl, the cerebral toilet bowl, and just flushes the rest. And that's where our dreams come from, mostly. So I love that idea. I love the idea that it's all just all the effluvia, the, the mental effluvia and detritus floating around in our brains gets flushed. This to me is kind of like distilled dreams. And that is super special. And I think this fragrance is super special. And because some people don't like it, that's why you don't have to worry about wearing it for yourself. Who are you pleasing? You're just pleasing yourself. All right, guys, that wraps up my five fragrances that I like to wear at home by myself, that I don't have to worry about pleasing anyone else but myself. Uh, I'll have all these fragrances are bangers in my estimation, with the exception of maybe the Dreamer. It's not quite really a banger. It's, the Dreamer is full of all these subtle fragrant cues that I really like, but it's not a banger like these other ones are. So I hope you've enjoyed me sharing my five fragrances that I like to wear when I'm at home, despite how other people consider or view them, or what they smell like to other people, or how they're considered. Because you're only home pleasing yourself, and that's why I really, really like spending time with these fragrances. So, and having them in my rotation. So if you've worn these or like these, please leave your comments below. If you have other fragrances that you use and that you wear when you're at home by yourself or doing a project, working on a project by yourself, please list those too. We would really like for you to share those. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.